hello everybody happy friday or saturday or whatever day you guys are watching this how's everybody doing i saw some pretty cool comments about the mystery of this what are we reacting to so i thought it would be fun for you guys to pick live uh if you are brand new to my channel. My name is Erin Bees. I am a wife, a mom, a military veteran, and I spent 13 and a half years in multi-level marketing, healed my way out, and now I'm using all of my social media platforms to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of multi-level marketing companies and the tactics used by the reps. So has everybody liked the stream? Like the stream if you haven't. Hello, everyone. Oh, you guys are so kind. I appreciate y'all being here. Yeah, I thought I would do like a viewer's choice. Sometimes I have the members pick, but I don't I don't know that I've ever done anything like this. I actually have three videos already uploaded right here, ready to go. And you guys get to pick. I thought that would be kind of fun. So uh, the first one is a recruiting video that Van did uh, for Elamir. And by the way, before I even talk about any of these, these videos were sent to me. So shout out to you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. And if you come across anything that you want to send to me, you can either screen record it, download it, upload it to a Google Drive, and then share it with my email. And there are instructions on how to do that in all of my videos. So yeah. Okay. So the first one is uh, Van, the CEO of Elamir, saying basically, it's it's basically a recruiting video. The second one is a another recruiting video. I think it's Plexus. And then the third one is actually a new MLM that I haven't heard anybody talk about. So let me know. One, two, or three. One is Elamir. Two, I believe, is Plexus. Three is the new MLM. You can just drop those in the comments. I know the choices. I want the wildest one. <laughs> I love this. Oh, we got a lot of threes right off the bat. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Let me give it another few seconds here, but it looks like three. Um, also, Melissa, I felt this comment. Why do we need another MLM? We don't. We don't. No. Three is the magic number. Three, ah, ah, ah. If you get that reference, you're my people. A lot of threes. Okay. Oh, man. Then there's some ones. We're always down for new tea. <laughs> uh, oh, don't worry. If uh, These are all videos that I had planned to react to, whether it's on a live stream with you guys or in a video, uh, an edited video. Uh, also, today would have been an edited video, but I started a new workout, a new a new phase. We're in phase three. I know I've been talking about this on Instagram, and I'm I'm pretty tired. I'm real tired this week. So normally, I would put out an edited video here today, but I'm tired. So we're gonna we're gonna live react together. So I appreciate your patience, and appreciate y'all being here. It looks like it's gonna be three. Yeah, shout out to the count. See, I knew somebody would get it. Love that. Um, okay. We need more MLMs because we need more healing from the inside out and better sleep. <laughs> oh my God, Keith. What's up, Keith? Uh, all right. It is the new MLM and this was sent to me. It was actually a screen recording from TikTok, and I did a little bit of research and found this information on YouTube. So we are going to react to a, it, it, it's an opportunity, Zoom, you guys know how much I love that. And it's a company called Rise. Have y'all heard of this company? I hadn't when it was sent to me, but it's kind of like Bomb Party. And uh, I have watched some of this video, it's about 50 minutes long. And yeah, I can't wait for you guys to actually see it. So yeah. Hi, JJ. Yeah, you're, JJ's going live this this evening um, at 5 p.m. my time, I think. So I'll just, we'll feed right into that. So yeah. All right. Are we ready? 
yeah, most people haven't heard of it. So let's, uh, let's get this thing going and drop your commentary, of course. Like the stream if you haven't already. And guys, if you have not subscribed, I think I'm like 28 subscribers away from 10K. So like, it'd be pretty cool if you would just double check to make sure you're subscribed. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. It's free. That would be really incredible. Uh, yeah, close to 10K. It's very exciting. And it's spelled RYZE, R-Y-Z-E. Uh, here we go. Did she not know that she hit the live button? Hello. <laughs> Hopefully you can all hear me tonight. Oh my God. Yeah. So close to 10 K. Also JJ. Thank you, bestie. Aaron going live a gift to us. Also subscribe to her. <laughs> Thanks JJ. Love you so much. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hey, Cammy. <laughs> How are you, sweet girl? Ah, oh, welcome, Sarah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little, a few things a little different right now. For the next hour, we are going to talk about Rise and about the company. We have a lot of people who ask us about the company. Um, and so for the next hour, we are just going to give some information about Rise. Then I'm going to end at seven o'clock. Um, then I go live at seven o'clock. What's happening? Um, then I go live oh. for actual business. Hey, Kels. Hi. Hi. Okay, we can't see you yet. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I think. Might take a second. Who knows? Give a second. Hi guys, welcome. If you have questions, oh, you are a girlfriend. Hello. There we are. Sorry for the um, jump scares, if guys. If you have questions about Rise, about why are these women and men um, doing these jewelry reveals on TikTok and filling up your TikTok and all those other things, that's what we're here for. We are here <laughs> to answer all these amazing questions for you. Um, so for all of y'all just coming in, um, I will introduce myself and then Miss Kelsey will. And by then we'll find Miss Jessica. She'll probably join. Um, for those of y'all who do not know, my name is Kristen and I am a team leader consultant with a company called Rise, R-Y-Z-E. If you have never heard of Rise before or you've never seen it, I would let... I would that, is, that is not on my end, friends. That is the sound and the jump scares with the sound that's that's on their end. I think it's because there's people. I don't know how that she recorded this, but I think there's people jumping on and it's interrupting the sound or whatever. So, yikes. We would love to tell you about it, but let me go ahead and let everybody introduce themselves. Then we'll come back and we'll talk about Rise and everything else. So my name is Kelsey. Um, I've been under Kristen for just a couple of weeks. You need me to turn that sound down because that was a jump scare in it, on its own. I think I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Um, I joined um, in the beginning, uh, well, no, the end of March. Um, and so I've had two parties so far um, and I've really, really loved my time so far. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, Miss Jessica? Miss Kelsey's yep. so quiet. <laughs> I know. Is she? <laughs> My name is Jessica. Look at y'all. All three have are these strawberry blondes and blondes, and there's this like dark hair right here. <laughs> you gotta die. Almost like you could be sister. No. That part. <laughs> So my name is Jessica, and I um, have been with Rise. Actually, the other day was like a month. So, um, yeah. It's your turn, Elise. Um, I'm Elise, and I have been with Rise since about a week after the Queen Bee started. Um, but we... Did she just call her the Queen Bee? Oh my God. Uh, what is the name? I think their team name is like the Jewel Hive. 
Let me look to be sure. Yeah, the Jewel Hive is the name of their team. <laughs> oh my god. Have so much fun. What am I supposed to say some what am I supposed to say? No. Just introduce yourself. <laughs> I That's missed great. the first part. But anyways, so professional. you regret it. You'll love it. Yes. It's a lot of fun. All right, so what we're here to do today is just tell you, and just to do an information live, because a lot of people have wondered, why are grown, grown adults, sorry, I just said a bad word, <laughs> why are grown bottom adults doing this kind of stuff? Can they make money? Um, is there support? There's all kinds of comments and questions I hear. Um, and I'm here to tell you that yes, 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 you can make money. Yes, you can make good money, yes. You can make six pushing to seven figures. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> um, doing this. <laughs> um, doing anything that is direct sales. And I think it's really important. One of the biggest things I always like to explain. To I love how she said, you can make six, seven figures in direct sales. But we all know the data does not show that. Not at all. This, this is her dangling the carrot, you know, she's dangling this like you could do this, but it's such a small percentage of people that actually do that. And it's because they have huge teams, you know, um, JJ just did that Sensi video. Did you guys see it where they were talking about the percentage of their checks that actually came from their team and the percentage that came from their personal sales? So if you were trying to say, well, you know, you can make six or seven figures, in direct sales and multi-level marketing, network marketing, whatever term they want to use for the day. But you can't unless you have a giant team and the percentages that we know exists. We know that that's a thing. But because of that Sensi video, amongst other videos, we now can see, well, yeah, you know, you get a point, what was it? 0.04% of that person's check was from personal sales and the rest was from their team. So them saying, well, you don't have to recruit. Well, if you're bringing somebody in under the guise of wanting to make six figures, wanting to replace an income, wanting to retire their spouse or whatever, you're going to have to recruit. So you can say it's not required, but look at how these people are trying to recruit people into this. I mean, she just said it. You can make six or seven figures. Well, that automatically means when you look at the comp plans, when you look at you know, the business model that you're going to have to recruit and you're going to have to have a lot of people that also recruit. Yikes, man. Starting off strong. The people is we are a direct sales company. No, we are not pyramid scheme. No, we're technically not an MLM. We well, are. I mean, <laughs> technically not. You either are or you aren't. It's giving Zip Slim saying they're kind of sort of not really an MLM. <laughs> a direct sales. A lot of people do not understand. There's a difference between those three things. Number one. <laughs> tell us, please number tell one, us. Number one, pyramid schemes are illegal. Oh, so is, uh, you know, murdering people, but that still happens amongst many other types of crimes, but all of that still happens. It's not really a defense. <laughs> When it comes to, this isn't a pyramid scheme because pyramid schemes are illegal. Pyramid schemes are very much a thing. And pyramid schemes can also carry actual products. So, and in my opinion, just from the few minutes that I've watched this video, this absolutely, in my opinion, is a pyramid scheme. And uh, you'll see why here shortly. Because it is the selling of a fictitious item, an item that's not tangible. What? So people confuse the term pyramid scheme, but what makes pyramid scheme illegal is the fact that it's an, it's not a tangible product. You're really scamming someone. Uh, the FTC called and said, that's a lie. The next thing that we get confused a lot with is MLM, multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketings are 100% legal. Um, but what I don't know why she's freezing. I think that's that's on this video. Um, MLMs are legal because of the political lobbying. That's why they're legal. 
something a multi-level marketing is that it is all about recruiting down meaning you recruit somebody they recruit it is all about keeping everything vertical so your sales i don't care i don't care if it is wait 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 it's all about keeping things vertical I don't think that that's how that works. I think if it's a pyramid scheme, it's the shape of a pyramid because you recruit somebody, they recruit people. At least that's the goal. I'm not even getting into how the money flows. We all know that. I've talked about that and so many other creators have as well. Oh my God. Is Five years from now, you're not doing anything anymore, but you've recruited someone who's recruited someone who's recruited and it's gone on for 25 generations. You're still making money. That's what makes it a multi-level marketing. It is a vertical type business setup. Don't you guys find it fascinating that she used a very loose definition of a pyramid scheme as the definition for multi-level marketing? I find that really interesting. Direct sales, as you see so many um, people do, um, it, you know, whether it be Tupperware, whether it be Mary Kay, whether it be um, Rye. Uh, I love the, I love the examples that she's giving. Tupperware is about to go out of business. We love that. We love that so much. Uh, Mary Kay does not have a an income disclosure statement for the United States. So we love that. Of course, that's sarcasm. These examples that she's giving are, are quite fascinating to me. Whatever. Direct sales are set up so that you are a horizontal business. And what I mean is, is that when I recruit somebody, they can actually go do their own thing and bypass me. They can literally be higher than me, everything. And a multi-level marketing, you can never bypass the person who recruited you. And <laughs> oh my God, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. They are so obsessed with the fact that you can outrank somebody and using that as a way to say, this isn't, you know, this isn't a pyramid scheme. People can outrank me. People can make more money than me. A pyramid scheme is when there is a focus on recruitment, which is all of these multi-level marketing companies, in my opinion. God, she's trying so hard. Oh my God. Chrissy says, maybe, oh, maybe it's a trapezoid. <laughs> maybe it's not really. A pyramid, it's more of a trapezoid. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Uh, oh my. Direct sales, you can. If you work your butt off, you can bypass anybody. So I always think it's really important to explain to people, we are direct sales. Yeah. Oh, also, yes, I'm pausing this a lot. Also, even if they outrank their upline, that doesn't change their position in the structure of the organization that more than likely is the shape of a pyramid. That, that, that's not, they're always going to be like, let's say that she signs up, just pick any of these gals that are on here. Let's say that she signed up one of them. If that person outranks her, they're still going to be in her first level. There's, there's, they're always going to be in that area in her organization. <laughs> I cannot. Yes, we do the majority of our business online via TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, but we're still direct sales. We are the modern day Tupperware party mm. where people, I don't know that I would want to brag about that. Tupperware is getting ready to go out of business if they haven't already. Well, you should go into your homes. We don't have to do that anymore because we come into your home via a social media device. I mean, the world is changing. Go figure. <laughs> so I do think that's important to know. Um, Let's go ahead and just start with basic things. And as you guys can tell, I'm a team leader. So I tend to talk a little much. So mm. I will try to shut up more to give them their moment. Um, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's answer you guys. You know, I love y'all to death, right? Because <laughs> y'all like just tolerate me. <laughs> as you can tell, we're also a fun team. 
<laughs> okay, tell me what is your very favorite thing about rice? Don't take mine. I'm going first. Anyways, um, <laughs> that was mine originally. So it was originally I am mine. Going to, I am going to say that the best thing that Rise has done is that when it's, it's just making it more personable. So, like when you get your kit, you get this awesome handwritten letter from corporate. You also get great customer service. Um, did you guys know that those handwritten things that are sent from the corporate offices are just people that have learned the handwriting of the CEO? <laughs> did y'all know that? So the emphasis on it being per a personal business. Yeah, no, no. You know, when you email them and it just really shows how much they truly care about you and how they care about everybody. So I really like the personalization. The customer service is all on point, which, you know, that's what we love. Okay, next person. <laughs> she always takes my idea. <coughs> okay, go You're ahead, the team no. leader. You should have multiple. I mean, you I don't have, really think that there's you one. Have, you should have multiple reasons why you love this company, even though you've only been in for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I love when... They're asked, what's, what's the favorite part of, of you being a part of whatever company? Oh, well, it's the community. It's anything except making money because we know a lot of people in, in multi-level marketing are not making money. So it's fascinating to me how they try to recruit people in by saying you can make six, seven figures. You can replace that full-time income. You can retire your partner. You can bring them home. You can whatever. But then when you have calls like this and they're like, tell us your favorite part about it. It's the community. Uh, they very rarely mention the products. It's, you know, the, we have so much fun. There's a lot of emphasis on this call about we're a really fun team. I want to see the numbers. I want to see how much money these people are bringing in. Cause I bet they're not bringing money in. It's wild. Savannah. Hi friends. Welcome. Nice pause there, Erin. Yeah, you know, I do my best. <laughs> thing that makes working with Rise great. Um, I mean, there's multiple different things that are great about something like this, right? Being able to... Do you have a black screen? Yeah, no, I see the video. Are you guys, you guys are seeing the video, right? Uh, maybe, maybe hop out and hop back in. I'm not really sure why it would, why it would show that, Karina. The... Uh, Determine your own schedule, go live when you want to go live, when you can go live, um, having the opportunity to, I don't know, make extra money for your family if that's what you're wanting to do, be able to save for something that you're looking forward to do with like your kids. Like for instance, part of what I'm saving for my long-term goal is to be able to bring my kids to Disney at the end of the year. Just like different things like that. There's, you can do so many different things. We're a great team. Um, especially Kristen as our leader. I mean, she is a wealth of knowledge. Thank you for this, Melissa. If your video goes black, exit out and then come back. YouTube has been a little glitchy for me in that regard recently. Thanks, Melissa. I appreciate that. She has an answer for everything. Um, and she, <laughs> she's super helpful in everything, everything rise. So <laughs> yeah. And I, you can tell I get picked on a lot. <laughs> so, all right, Jessica, what's your favorite part? And I do think that's amazing, Kelsey. I do. I agree with you. I think my favorite part is the fact that you um, don't have to invest money into your business unless you want to, um, because why is your body language the way that it is? This makes me question everything that you are saying. You don't have to invest in your business unless you want to. This is the same thing as you don't have to recruit. It's not a requirement. But then you get in and it's like, oh, well, but if you want this bonus or if you want this fast start uh, you know, bonus or you want to rank up or you, you can hit the first couple ranks, but you're going to have to have a team in order to get to like the third, fourth rank and beyond. And then if you want to make six, seven figures, you're really going to have to have a huge team. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, you don't have to invest 
unless you want to. And so deceptive. They give you it is. the replenishment money that you need to replenish your inventory, and then you can invest and buy more if you want. But it's not like an absolute necessary thing. What? I know. I will never forget. I will remember. So if you don't have inventory, and this is a company where it's like fizzy things. It's very similar to Bomb Party. So if you don't have inventory, how are you going to go live and show people the product? You, you get your kid to do maybe one or two lives or whatever, and then that's it? How are you supposed to show? <laughs> this makes no sense at all. Jessica's message forever. Oh my God, I have over $500 in my replenishment account. And I'll explain to y'all what replenishment account is in a minute. She was just so excited. This company gave wait. her money to buy more inventory. Um, and so, you know, I think my favorite thing is the down to earthedness. That's what? a word. I don't know. That, I just made that word up. But mm -hmm. it is. It's the down to earthedness. Because I'm one of these people who the one thing that takes me off more than anything is when somebody thinks they are better than everybody else. I literally cannot stand that. I'm like, excuse me, you put your pants on the same way the rest of us do. Get off that hot. Do not talk like that. Don't do that. Of course. I am not a pedestal kind of person. I'm like, if you won't put your butt on a pedestal, you better have a rag to dust it. <laughs> because it's just, I've never been like that. Um, and so I love that this company, I feel, is so down to earth. I mean, the only reason she said any of that is so that she could say, I'm not like that because she wants you to join her team. So if you're looking for a down to earth leader, if you're looking for somebody that you can contact anytime, it's going to help you, you know, that's, that, that's why you want to join this team. Oh, so awkward. <laughs> we had a consultant who did something a little bizarre and I immediately messaged corporate and said, how do I handle this? And they're like, this is how you handle it. I mean, So you had somebody on your team that did something bizarre and did you reach out to that person or did you go direct to corporate? Because the vibe that I'm getting from this individual is, oh, well, we can't be having that. Let me talk to corporate. That's how I feel. I could be completely wrong. That's just the impression that I'm getting. Did you reach out to that person and say, hey, this is a little odd or, hey, we don't normally do this because, you know, that's what a leader would do is they would handle the situation rather than going right to corporate and saying, I don't know what to do. A leader would would know what to do and would reach out to that person. So I don't know. I'm not stating that as fact as far as if she talked to the person or not, because I don't know. But it's just very interesting. <laughs> also this. Wait, wait. She has to call corporate. I thought it was her business. I thought she was the CEO. Right? Because if she were the CEO, then she would be handling it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They're just so amazing and supportive. Um, and so that's what I love about it. So let's go ahead and just talk about everything. <clears throat> if you guys come up with questions you want answered, please ask us. That's what we're here for. Um, number one thing I think about Rise is no fees. Mm -hmm. Um. We do not charge a monthly fee, an annual renewal fee. We don't charge a monthly website fee. We don't charge a fee for people using credit cards. You don't get charged a fee if people use payment plans like ShopPay or Klarna. We don't have a direct deposit fee. We really, we literally have no fees. Um, the company has a motto that they do not believe consultants should have to pay to sell their products. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so then there's no kits that are available, right? You can just sign up for free. And purchasing a kit to have inventory doesn't happen, right? Oh, it does with the replenishment program that she's talking about where you place an order and you get like this credit, which we all know is going to end up on the 1099 as a source of income that they will pay tax on. Yeah. Interesting how that works. I wonder if there's a, an annual distributor fee. I wonder about that. 
So they literally are all about, we do not do fees. And I think that's one of my favorite things. Um, consultants get 40% discount on everything they sell. We get a 40% discount. So whenever I want to buy something personally, I get 40% off. I and there's the push for inventory right there. Hey, if there's something that you want for yourself, 40% off, but make sure you grab another one. I'm not saying she's saying this. I just know that this is probably what some of the people in this company will use. If there's something that you like, if you love it, your customers are going to love it. So make sure you get two. And that's, that person is coming out of pocket. Okay. Um, and I love that. Um, what else do you guys think? How about, let's talk about pressure or monthly minimums. What do y'all think? Why don't y'all tell some of that info? Hmm. I don't talk. feel, I have never felt pressure at all, um, besides like, pressure on myself to go live, um, but not from the company, not from corporate. And as far as minimums, you only have to have one customer sell every other month. Kristen likes to push, you know, one a month, but. Well, of course she wants to push one per month. She gets paid on that. I cannot, I don't, by the way, I don't know who these people are. I just know that they're a part of a company called Rise. That's all I know. And I don't, I don't have to know them. I know you guys know that, but I don't have to know these people. I'm not talking about them personally. I'm talking about the words coming out of their mouth. I'm talking about the, the tactics, trying to recruit people. It's the same old thing, you know? For corporate wise, it has to be one every other month. And that's it. Yep. I, I like to say one a month just because I think it just sounds better, even though, I think it's it sounds better or it's a guaranteed assurance that you're not going to lose a distributor. <laughs> sounds better, but really yeah. one piece every other month is even less sales, but I don't know why. It just sounds better to my ears. So I always say one piece. Hi, darling. How you know what's weird is she opened up this call, this Zoom or whatever, with telling people that they can make six or seven figures. And now she's telling them. Well, you just have to, you know, one, one customer sale per month, but the company requires one every other month. So it's interesting how all of that has changed. This is a perfect example, in my opinion, of how it changes once you're in. You know, she may be talking about six and seven figure earners, how you can make all this money, time freedom and all this stuff. And then you get in and they're like, oh, but you've also got to have one customer every other month. But our team, you know, we do one per month. It's yeah. Who are you? Is there an amount to bonus? Um, to bonus, you get bonuses by recruiting. <laughs> That's where you get your bonuses. Refer to the definition of a pyramid scheme on the FTC webpage. Yeah, the uh, emphasis on recruiting. You earn bonuses for recruiting. And the bonuses are probably a lot more than you get on that 40% commission on a piece of jewelry. Wow, just just like Demi said, just uh, just right out with it. Just coming right out with it. Okay. Um, from the very first person you recruit, you get you get bonuses. Um, from the very first mm -hmm. person you recruit. But then again, um, sometimes and, people don't get into it to build a team. You don't have to if you don't want to. But if you're looking for the bonus, right. then you. Remember a few minutes ago when I said this very example. You don't have to recruit. But if you want the bonuses, if you want the fast start bonuses, if you want to rank up, if you want to make more money, you're going to have to recruit. But you don't have to. It's not a requirement. Wow, I love when when they prove everything that I'm saying is correct because that's essentially what just happened. <laughs> I can have a team. Um, and here's the other thing I think is really important. Like some sales companies, I you know I I previously worked for one where if you sold a hundred dollars in a month, you got zero you got zero pay, even though they say they pay twenty five percent. They only pay 25% if you do over $250. Mm. This company, you get your 25% on the dollar. I mean, the you know who is similar to that? Q 
Q-Sciences. So if you, I believe it's, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, because obviously I'm not reacting to a Q-Sciences video. I don't have the Q-Sciences comp plan in front of me. But if I remember correctly, you don't get paid on your first hundred uh, volume, whether that's from a customer or your, your auto ship. You sell that hundred, but you, you don't get paid on it. You get paid after that. There are some companies that do that. And when I say companies, I mean, obviously, MLM companies. Imagine, imagine being an MLM company and saying, hey, you are going to sell 100 points, volume, whatever term they refer to it as, but we're not going to pay you for that. And think about a company. Think about how many distributors there are in this company. And they're not paying the first 100 just magnify that by thousands and thousands, depending on the company, of distributors. That's free money for the company that they don't have to pay anybody for. First dollar, you are making your 25%. And so I think that's important. Um, Hang on, I have to parent what? Is it like plug-in to computers? Yeah. Are you using it this morning? Yeah. When you're done, can I use your mic? Because you, I have to do a voiceover. You want to use my mic? Yeah, because... Okay. She crap. wants to use my mic after, guys. I'm going to totally geek what, out. What is it plug into? My computer. Well, yeah, I'll show like, you. I I'm live. I'll talk to you after. Just, just don't, yeah, don't that touch anything. Connect. I'm not touching anything. Oh my God. I don't think it'll Teenagers. I'll talk to you when I'm done. It won't work. Brat. Okay. Those pants look cute. That, that Get out of here now. No. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I have to parent. LOL. <laughs> At least, at least you stopped a parent. I'm like, the MLM ladies. that's so true. <laughs> so you get whatever, you know, what you need, what you need. I mean, what you sell is what you get. Um, and so it's always 25%. Um, Eloise, she's 16 as well. So I get it. <laughs> One thing. So we do, we did say about no, um, no pressure or anything like that. Here's the thing I think is really, really important. And I'm going to explain it the best way I can. Oh, it's please the do. hardest thing of all to explain. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Um, and here's what it is. Um, Rise allows consultants to buy new inventory what is she every doing week that? without reinvesting. So, so they get a free product credit that they can use that I guarantee you is counted on their 1099 if they are in the States as a source of income. I guarantee it. Oh my God. So what I mean is, um, let's just say, and I'm just using this as an example because it's one of the popular you, items we see on TikTok. Let's say you sell oysters hold on just a minute wait people didn't get paid on this um no like the last company i worked for if you sold less than 250 you didn't get your you didn't get commission so she came from another company this is a newer company we know how all of this works i wonder if these three individuals that are with her if they were from her previous company hmm interesting you had to sell over $250 to get commission. There are no fees, Hamza. No back office fees, no website fees, no credit card fees, no monthly, no yearly, no, no fees. It's got the so the thing that I find interesting about this, specifically when she says credit card fees, is I wonder if when they are live and they're selling product, if they use a, maybe they use PayPal, maybe they use some sort of credit card processing thing, um, there's gonna be fees associated with that. So the company may not charge fees, but if that person is selling a product to somebody else and it's not being processed through the company website, it's being processed from customer to distributor, there's going to be fees. So she can't really say that, in my opinion. Yeah, and just like Avery Joe says, there's always hidden fees. You know, it makes me wonder if they have an annual distributor fee. It makes me wonder, you know, I don't know. Support fee? Yeah, I ain't doing it. <laughs> we literally have no fees. Okay, 
But for yeah. Rye, hey, Miss Abby Cadaver commission. You get yeah with Rise, you get your commission on your very first dollar you sell. Yep. So that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I love about it is that the Why minimums that there's really no minimums. Um, here's the best way I'm going to explain this. Um, so I'm going to use oysters in as an example because why is this so difficult? This should be very simple to explain. If it's a free product credit for you placing an order, that should be very simple to explain. Hey, you spend this much, you get this credit, you can use it to build an inventory, you, whatever you want to do, you can collect the, it, it's not that difficult to explain. That's a common item we see on um, on TikTok. Exactly. If you sell oysters, let's say you buy a hundred oysters. And I'm, this is not. I'm oh, wait, 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 Natalie. She said she just lied. Starter bundle, fifty nine ninety nine. Business bundle, one ninety nine ninety nine. I'm sorry, boss moves bundle. Six ninety nine ninety nine. I love that. I love that you're looking at their website. I'm looking for their comp plan because I haven't been able to find it quite yet. I'm sure this is not the real number. I'm just using an example. Let's say you buy a hundred oysters and you buy them for a hundred dollars. Every time you buy a hundred oysters, you pay a hundred more dollars to get them shipped to you. Not with rice. How ours works is every time we buy the items, when we sell them, they give us the money back to buy new. So like if you... This would make sense actually. If she were a part of the Oyster MLM and she's using that as an example, she's villainizing the old company to say, hey, this is so much better over here. I bet, I bet she was a part of that. We'll do some digging. Sold oysters. Could you imagine if every time you sold one oyster, you got $1 back to rebuy your next shipment? So that, that $100 is really kind of like just a deposit that you just keep reusing over and over. And they keep every, every oyster you sell, they just give you that money to go buy more. That's what we do. So when you, when you join, um, your kit comes with product. Every time you sell a piece of product, not only do you get your 25% commission, you also get um, replenishment or what we call pro um, inventory money. You get inventory money back to buy more inventory every time you sell a piece. So you do not have to reinvest in the business at all. The only time you would reinvest is let's say your sales are going off the wall and you're constantly selling out of things, then you can slowly build up your inventory. That's what I did. It took me a while. Now I have, I have a huge hunk in inventory. Um, I have 50, I carry 50 of most every single item. Um, what in the paparazzi is happening here? That is not the flex that I think you want it to be, ma'am. <laughs> also, Tracy says, isn't that called store credit? Yeah, yeah. And I get, I, I bet on that store credit, you're still paying tax and shipping on it. So in the, in terms of it being an investment, it's, you're still coming out of pocket for something in my opinion. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Oh. And that's because my sales have built me there, but you don't have to, you can do it slow because they're going to constantly be paying you back. Every time you sell a piece, give you that money back to buy more. And I love that. I hope that, I know it's a very, it's hard to explain, but when you get doing it, you go, oh my God, why aren't all companies doing this? Because I can tell you coming from direct sales, you know, we all, you know, a lot of us have done other direct sales. That's our favorite thing. Okay. Like for all me, right, so, I mean, on a different. That's our favorite thing. But when she asked everybody at the beginning, been, let's rewind that. When she asked everybody at the beginning of this what their favorite thing is about this company, that was never mentioned. <laughs> so wild. Level. So I know some people who kept just three of everything, you know, and once they 
once they sell that, then they'll see what their sales are. Um, but for me, typically I like to keep five of everything except for the pearls. I like to keep at least 10 or 11 because our pearl necklaces, you get a free pearl with that. But there's also an option for a five tray. So I want to still make sure I have that, which pearl replenishment's only $5. So it's really not that big. Um, but remember when she said you didn't have to, you didn't have to reinvest. This is giving when you are, are on a website, you're doing any kind of shopping on somebody's website and they say, oh, well, you can add this for just five more dollars. You can add two of them for seven dollars. That's what this is giving. You don't have to invest, guys. You don't even have to recruit. Oh, but if you want the bonuses, you're going to have to recruit. Oh, if, if you want to sell more, you have to have more inventory. But go ahead and use this credit that you're going to pay tax on because it's going to end up on your 1099. It's totally fine. It's free money. It's not free. These people have no idea how that works. Oh, my God of expense, but each person sets their own. There's no like standard across the board. You don't, um, I was going to say you don't have to have a certain amount. Yeah. And you don't have to have the same product someone else does. If your customers are not buying size five, six or 11, 12 rings, then only carry like one of those. Keep, put all of your inventory make more towards the stuff that you are selling. You know, I think that's important. I did not invest in this one type of necklace we used to have because my customers didn't buy it. So I never bought a ton of them. But um, we don't have, we don't even care anymore. But that was, until you I know, came you, it's up to you. And I bought your last Do what? One. I said, until I came You along did. You came along and bought. I still have one more. <laughs> I have an open. I still have one more in case you want to buy it, even though you're already on my team. The distributors are the customers. That's a perfect example right there until I came along. Yeah. Now you're a distributor with the company, but here her leader is still trying to sell her something from her inventory that they no longer carry. Big one. All right. So let's go on and talk about other things. Um, let's see. What else do you guys think is important? <laughs> I have a whole list of things. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe go over the 1099 and how, you know, they're going to pay taxes on the bonuses, the free product, all that stuff. Maybe, maybe cover that. Oh, you can't. Yeah. Okay. How about the kickstart? The kickstart is probably a, 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 their version of the fast start program. If any of you can find the comp plan, let me know. I would love to throw it up. I would love to, to cover it. I've been looking and I haven't been able to find it. So I think it's one of those things where, you have to get it from like a distributor or the company. So if any of you super sleuths can find it, let me know. Um, because I would love to debunk everything that they're saying. Because I can I can, I can can picture what their comp plan looks like. You guys are quiet, okay? Um, here's the thing. I think it's important. Do what? You get incentives. Like Yes, you do. We, we do incentives. We do trips. We do everything. Mm. the conference that's coming up the kickstart like they do um they we're doing challenges right now for the month where you get to rack up points and then whoever's like what the top 40 that has the highest points gets a like a big old tumbler from them like they do challenges to keep you active and to keep you Buying inventory. I just wanted to fill in the gaps for what she was saying. They do incentives so that you buy more. They see that you, they want you to see that you are close to something, whether it's, um, oh, I'm in the, I'm in the top 10. I'm going to buy some more. I'm going to add some inventory. I'll just sell it. You know, it's no big deal. It's not like it's going to sit here. I'm going to sell it. And then it does sit there, but you just bought into the contest. That's, that's a pay to play thing that they're doing there. Um, like engaged and all that stuff. Oh, also that Tumblr, if you win it, that's going to go on your 1099. Yeah, you're going to pay tax on that. And I'm going to pay. And it's not. It's... Huh? Same. Go ahead. What? Sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pipe into they're not unrealistic goals or they're not no. unrealistic tasks that you can't achieve. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Big thanks for these streams. 
been struggling and I'm alone tonight. So it's nice to feel less alone with all of you. You're not alone. You're here with us. So yay. Th and thank you for this super chat. That's super kind of you. Yeah, this is exactly like the flash sales. Yes, that Monet does. Yeah. And they're not, they're not sales driven. Nope. Like, so right like I, so they're recruiting driven. How do you earn points? If they're not sales driven, how do you earn points? Recruiting. Yeah. Probably ranking up as well. It could be. I can be number one in the company or number two or number three. That doesn't mean I'm going to win because they're, they're tasks based on, okay, every, this month we're going to concentrate on posting. Everybody post to your social media. And then, you know, I mean, they just do different things. Kickstart. Um, this wait, 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 wait. I thought this was your own business. Why, if that were the case, would corporate have to have contests where they are, are monitoring who is posting about rise on social media? That makes no sense. So they asked, what's Kickstart? Kickstart's just one of the many promotions Rise does. Kickstart is because they want to help you um, succeed. Uh -huh. So it's a 90-day program to help you earn prizes along your first 90 days. Yeah. So that is a new distributor program, it sounds like, where either the income or prizes or there's some sort of like giveaway that gives a heightened sense of either community prizes. Um, you'll see some of these companies that you'll actually make a little bit more income for doing some, you know, selling and recruiting. Um, and then after that 90 day period, you're back to just the regular incentives, if you will. And I'm using the word incentives very loosely. So that's just a way to, in my opinion, indoctrinate people and uh, keep them in longer thinking that they're going to, wow, look at, I'm being rewarded. This company appreciates me. Look at what I'm doing. I won this contest. I'm, I got this bonus. I did this, I did that. And it's like, yeah, but what about on day 91? It's not going to, it's not going to last, you know, under 500, 482, I think 482. Yeah. It's, under Oh, okay. Eloise coming in hot, by the way, go subscribe to her channel. She's amazing. Um, upon departure from rise, whether voluntary or involuntary consultants are required to return all unused product in resaleable condition to receive a refund of their $100, depo $100 deposit. So there are fees of some form that probably comes from their, their policies and procedures. Oh my God. Their hashtag is rise tribe and they promise friends for life, but I thought it was a business. Hmm. Under 500. Um, you know, here's the thing. is When people join up under me, um, I do know some of the people who. Under you in the pyramid? Yeah. Have been with, who have been with other fizzy jewelry companies. Um, but we don't really discuss it. A lot of us have come from other direct sales. So we don't really discuss the other companies um, because to each their own, so to speak. What? I can only tell you why I love it. But yes, we do have some. Does she not remember the oyster example from a few minutes ago that she's used multiple times? The only reason these people don't talk about previous companies is one, they either left on really bad terms and they're trying to prevent themselves from being sued. Or two, they don't want people to go and research this other company that they were a part of. And that's that's on information control from the bite model. So people who were other with other fizzy reveal companies. Um, if that answers your question. So yeah, we have 480. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's, a, it's, you have to understand rice has been around for three years, oh. but when they first started, they were not consultants. It was not focused on having a team of consultants. So was it a retail model and just recently they made it an MLM? <laughs> what? 
what is happening? Oh. Um, it was focused on, you know, just mainly the owners doing it. And so the consultants have all been something more new for it. Um, but I made the switch from where I used to be because one is I wanted something that was more down to earth. I wanted something where yeah. um, I felt we had the support. But more than that, I wanted to be on the ground floor with uh, the company. Yeah. And the reason that people like her in MLMs that have been a part of previous MLMs and they want the new opportunity, most people have not heard of Rise. How many of you heard of Rise before this live stream? Probably not a whole lot. So the reason that they like that is because they know that they have an opportunity to recruit a bunch of people. One, she's got this warm market of people from her previous company, whether it's distributors under her from the previous company or customers. Those are all going to come over with her, which means she's going to shoot up the comp plan. She's going to she's going to shoot up the ranks, if you will. Um, <laughs> she oh, this is great. I love this for us. Not so much for her because, you know. <laughs> she's proving the anti MLM movement correct with everything that she's saying. And she's trying to make it seem <laughs> like it's a good thing. No, it's not. Oh, Sam D. Thank you so much. I found a blurry copy of the comp plan and DM'd it to you, Aaron and IG. I'll keep looking for a clearer one. Thank you so much. I appreciate that guys go follow Sam D or go subscribe to her channel as well. She also, I think she, Sam, Sam, you were a part of uh Sensi as well, right? So yeah, go follow, go follow her, so go subscribe to her channel. All right, let's keep this moving. Um, and so I started researching this company months before I joined them. Um, and I love the fact that number one, Rise is all sterling silver. Everything, all of our fizzy jewelry is sterling silver, solid sterling silver. That's number one. Number two, um, we have, um, we don't pay for the shipping. Our customers, anything we reveal in our life, our customers get free shipping. So there's no having to worry about discount codes, anything like that. And we don't pay for shipping. The company does. The company gives us all the postage labels for everything. Did you? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it is fun, Miss Diane. I absolutely love it. Um, I like it because... I like the quality of the jewelry. And I always tell people, when you get the jewelry in and you see it, you go, wow. It just does not do it justice online. It doesn't. All right. What other questions? Yep. Free shipping. And they, the company pays us. They give us all of the postage paid labels. We don't do any of that. What does it cost to get started? So glad you asked. That all right. Planted. We have three kits. I'm not going to really talk about the first kit. What? In my opinion, the first kit is really only if you used to sell, you have a lot of inventory left that you didn't send back to get your money back because you can do that. Um, and so you just want to re-sign up. It's $59. It comes with no inventory. Um, no I don't suggest it because I don't make a whole lot of money off of that. <laughs> On. Guys, help me out here. Like the stream, would you? Oh my God. Number two is the kit I recommend the most. It's $199. Um, the reason I recommend it is because one, it comes with one of every single item. If you sell everything in your kit, you're going to have $173 in inventory replenishment to buy new inventory. So I do suggest the 199 kit. And then I say, I suggest a few additional pieces just so you have enough. The third kit is $699. Big jump, but it's all the inventory you're going to need. to. And it's the best value. It's what I started with. And it's what I suggest everybody else start with. I'm waiting for it. To totally get started for a couple lives. Um, I still recommend the medium one. I think the medium one is just so smart because it comes with one of every single item. And then you can just buy the additional items you need. Because the biggest is the 699 
the $6.99. Can you do rise and let's say a fragrance? Yes, you can. You just can't do rise and another jewelry reveal. You can do rise and nails. You can do rise and fragrance, rise and makeup. See, Diana, that's it. You and me both. That's how I am. Girl, see, you're like me. Yeah, no. See, we only pay $14 per item. And every time we sell that item, we get our 25% commission and we get that $14 back. Every week. <laughs> every single week. So our 25% commission comes on Friday. Mm. Our replenishment money comes on Friday. Sunday. So we all go in on Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon. We place our orders. Our orders are shipped out Monday morning. I have it. I'm in Florida. I have it come Wednesday. You, what? Yours is Thursday, Miss Kelsey? Like, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. It's about three days and I'm in South Carolina. Yep, typically so, Wednesday. Yep. See, that's how I am, Miss Diana. Um, I, you know, like, I'll be honest, last week I spent $2,000 in replenishment, but it wasn't out of my pocket. It literally was my replacement. Like they literally gave me everything, every item I sold, they gave me $14 in addition to my 25. That's going to go on your 1099. It's a free product credit. Last week, I spent 2000 Well, it didn't come out of my pocket. Did Rise, the company, pay the taxes? You didn't have to come out of pocket at all on that order? I highly doubt that. Okay, maybe the shipping was free, but you paid tax, and then that credit is going to end up on your 1099. <laughs> but the company cares so much about you. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, any company that offers free product credit, it's going to show up on the 1099 as a source of income. And the reason that that happens is because they're counting that literally as a source of income. They're saying, well, we're giving this to you. Yeah, you're paying the tax, you're paying the shipping, but you're going to turn around and sell that for 100% profit. It, and it goes on their 1099. <laughs> the only way these people would know that it's on their 1099 is if they ask their company for an itemized 1099. I feel like I just said 1099 a bunch of times, <laughs> but it's true. It's got, they have to request the itemized document in order to see what exactly goes on it. The free trips, the free product, even some of the gifts and stuff that they'll send. Percent for me to rebuy more inventory. So I got, nope. No, you, here's what you're doing. You're comparing something totally different. No, 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 no. All right. So I'm going to do it this way. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to whiteboard out. I'm going to explain it to you. Three, four. All right. So let's say in my kit, I, or let's say I bought five pieces of jewelry to sell. We buy them at $14 the first time, only the first time. So I'm going to buy five pieces of jewelry, three, four, five. Here are my five pieces of jewelry I bought. One, two, three, four, five. If I, when I sell these, I'm going to get 25%, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to get 25% into my paycheck and I'm going to get the replenishment for this item into my replenishment account. So when I, on Sunday, if I have sold all five of these pieces, I have the stuff, besides the fact I made my 25% commission, I also have the stuff to rebuy five more items. Didn't she say 40% discount at the beginning of this? Now it's 25%. I wonder if you get a 40% discount if you buy in at the big kit. <laughs> She is all over the place. I know. Everybody write this down. <laughs> write it down. I can't. Oh, my God. Elamir called. They want their strips back. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Does that make sense? So it's not like 
you're buying at wholesale or anything, you literally are not buying it at all. You've bought it one time and you're getting that same money plus your 25% back every single time. And just from what you said, here's how I'm going to. So clearly with, if it is 40% and I think she's talking about the 25% is the credit that you get back. Uh, this jewelry is not worth anything because these companies, they are going to incorporate these types of discounts and stuff into the price of the product. So even though she's trying to present it, she's like, listen, you get 40%, 25%. Uh, you know, back at, in the form of an inventory credit, all of that has been accounted for in the price of the product. It's just the company kind of smearing everything around. Wow. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Explain it. All right. Let's say each of your little fizz cubes cost you $5. Okay. So let's say it costs you $25 for your fizz cubes. Uh-huh. When you sell them for $29.99 or 30, I don't know. I don't know the price. I'm so sorry. But let's say you sell them for $29.99. You're going to get your 25% commission of that $29.99, which would be three six roughly $7.50. So you're going to get $7.50 in your paycheck. Plus, you're going to get that $5 that you spent on that fizzy back and your replenishment money so that you then have that five dollars to buy another fizzy and then as soon as you sell that fizzy you get that five dollars back plus your 25 percent commission and buy another one what in the monopoly money is happening <laughs> i'm sorry i can't these people look like they would rather be at the dentist than on this call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't with these. I can't. Does that make sense? The 40% off is if you want to get something for yourself personally. Right. 40% is for our own personal purchases. It's not for what we resell. What then you can't say you're at a 40% buying discount because that makes it seem like every purchase through the website for product through rise is 40% off. So it's actually 25%, which means you make 75%. No, I, I think I did that backwards. Anyway, you guys know what I'm saying? Like, so deceptive. <laughs> we resell, we keep it closed. So we don't, we don't, it doesn't cost us money. Unless you want to get extra out of your own pocket. Right. Which you're probably encouraged to do so. It is. That's an even a greater thing, isn't it? Yeah. I know. And I, and I always tell people, I know it's really hard to understand <laughs> Janet. how our replenishment works, how it works. But once you get in it, you go, oh my God, that's so easy. Cause like it was. Exactly. How many times have we heard something where they're like, I know it's kind of confusing, but once you get in, it'll make more sense. And then you get in and it's like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. And then on top of that, you have all these other like fine print moments. Oh, wow. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> bring, bring out the white tax and string to track this nonsense. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, this is wild. I'm glad you guys picked this video to react to. It's totally baffling to me. I go, I'm not getting this. There's two wallets. What do you mean? Now I totally get it. Two wallets. I totally Yeah. Which also too, in the beginning, it's really hard because you know, somebody has three babies. <laughs> so we love what, I, what I mean is so when you get your stuff in your kit it may only have you know one of everything Sam D coming in with the details we have the comp plan you guys want to cover it I think we should so thank you Sam D for this I really appreciate it all right so we got hostess rewards we have 
rank chart and we have compensation plan. Let me airdrop this to my computer so that we can look at this. Cause I think, <laughs> I really feel like we need a break <laughs> from this craziness. Oh my God. Okay. Let me send these to my computer. <laughs> yeah, they look really bored. All right, let's see. There's the comp. Yeah, the most you ever get is 25% on personal sales. So to me, it sounds like, where's the other one here? All right, here's the comp plan. Hang tight for just a second, guys. Um, slides. <laughs> this is so wild. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, hang on. I'm going to play this video some more while I'm getting this together. Okay. But you want to get two of everything. So, like, I found myself, then I sold some, but then I saw myself, I needed to add more. So, I'm just now getting to the point, though, to where my inventory is where I need it, and I'm not re-putting my money into it anymore. Like, but the good thing also is, too, is we only do buy them, you know, for 14 and if we decide to leave or part ways and they're unopened, they'll buy it back from us and we'll get that $14. So really, I'm just investing in my company, myself, my business, sorry, not my company, but my business, myself, and you'll get that money back if you do leave. No. <laughs> um, no. So for example, we said no. <gasps> and I mean, my sales... My sales are high, so I'm going to use, I, I can only use my figures. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to use my figures. Oh, please know do. That this is not everybody's figures. Um, I do this full time. Okay. So I want to make that different. So for example, last week, when I go to order my inventory, uh -huh. I noticed, um, I noticed that, um, they, uh, I have like $2,400 in my replenishment wallet for the week. I had sold that many items, $14 divided by 2,400 is how many items I sold that week. <laughs> so I had $2,400. So I bought my inventory and I did not spend a penny more than my inventory. I didn't even pay. It didn't even pay, charge me for shipping because I wasn't paying for anything. I thought shipping um, was free anyways. So when you balance it out as zero, it literally takes it to zero. So there's nothing even to them that you're shipping. So it costs me zero. Um, and I like it. It's great. Is there a minimum on how many pieces you can buy? Nope. Yep. You could just start with one piece of one size. Yep. Oh and my they'll, God. Corporate will let you know when they run out of sizes. But like right now, they're out of earrings so the only time way you can get earrings is if, is if if one of us have them um but we can't get a replenishment of earrings because they're out as well as size eights we can't get a replenishment of eights because they're out too but they um they work really really hard and pretty quickly to get it back to where we can get all of that stuff again if it's out and it's mainly because we just now are really starting to grow and that's why I took the change and took the jump to rise now because it's just now starting to catch on. And exactly. It wasn't a company that was well known and you knew you were going to just go through the rank. You were going to rise through the ranks <laughs> super quickly. Oh my God. 2,400 divided by 14 equals 171 items, right? Ted talk. <laughs> So they buy each other's inventory just like paparazzi. Yep. Oh my God, this is wild. Okay, let's look at let's look at this here. Um, comp plan. Here it is. I'm gonna screen share so you guys can see. One moment. Okay, I'm gonna make 
myself smaller so that you guys can see this. I know it's still going to be pretty small on your end. Just uh, bear with me. So this is the rise comp plan. And, and you can see the personal sales, 25%. 25% is all you will make on personal sales. But then as you recruit and look at this, the difference between consultant and ambassador, wow, you get paid on a downline, which means you have to have a downline in order to rank up to ambassador. So you could be a consultant and make 25% of personal sales, but you won't get any of those bonuses that they're referring to because you're not recruiting. So there is emphasis on recruiting. And so then you just get paid more on your downline, which is going to put more emphasis on recruiting and getting your team to recruit. And then when you get to director, which is the fifth rank in the company, you get a $50 bonus and a $50 maintenance bonus that will be awarded if the rank is maintained the next month after hitting the rank of director for the first time. So this absolutely is, in my opinion, all about recruiting. But you know, you guys, the team is so fun. Then you get to Emerald, which is the eighth rank in the company, and you get a $500 rank achievement bonus and then a $4,500 uh, maintenance bonus. And it says, let's see, this is Emerald. Hold on, I'm looking through the fine print. It says Sapphire here. Sapphire maintenance bonus will be divided over the 10 months. What in the It Works bonuses is happening here? Bonus will be awarded each month for the next 10 months if the rank of Sapphire is maintained. If rank is not maintained during that time period, the remainder of the bonus will be forfeited. <laughs> Bonus is only available for the first time a consultant hits the rank of Sapphire. Interesting. And see, when you get to the top rank in the company, you're getting paid on six, five, five levels. Five levels, yeah. 7% to 2% through your fifth level. 0.5% generation bonus. So that's probably, yeah. Anyways, we all get into that another time probably. And then a $10,000 rank achievement bonus. And the way that you rank up in this company is by recruiting. That's what this shows. Oh, man. All right. Let's look at, hold on. I have one more thing that I want to show you. I want to show you the rank charts so that you can see. There is a wholesale volume, a wholesale volume requirement. Let me finish my statement there. All right, here's this. This is their rank chart. So as you can see, consultant, you are a consultant as soon as you purchase the kit. Then you become an ambassador. And well, this is interesting. Is this different than, hold on. I'm just going to do a side by side here real quick. I'll look at the comments here in a second, guys. Okay, so I misspoke on having a, having to have a distributor in order to hit ambassador. So ambassador is when you have 300 in personal volume. Advisor is the third rank in the company, 400 in personal volume and a thousand wholesale volume. I think this is where the two different wallets come into play. I think the wholesale is inventory and then the personal volume is that 40% of personal orders. So I think that's maybe what we're seeing here. But again, I don't I don't know that. Then you have leader is 400 in personal volume. This is where you have to have at least one team member and also 3000 in wholesale volume. And then it goes all the way up to five, five uh, ambassador legs. So they have to be at the rank of ambassador, which is 300 in personal volume. So this is encouraging from the looks of it. And in my opinion, this is encouraging people to order out of pocket at that 40% in order to, uh, if it's stuff that they like or whatever, at that 40% discount. But then I think the inventory loading is where we're going to see this stuff. It's very interesting. Yeah. And then one more thing, and again, shout out to Sam D for sending this. I appreciate you so much. Um, this is their 
their hostess rewards. Oh my god. I can't. Okay, this is their hostess rewards right here. So if you have a party with them, and your party is $250 to $599, you get 10%. So if it's under $250, you get nothing. <laughs> Uh, 600 to 999 party volume, you get a 15% uh, free hostess credit and you get a free, oh my God, the name of this, a free exclusive sterling silver mystic earring valued at $79, $79 where bro? <laughs> $1,000, uh, $1,000 party total, you get 20% hostess credit and a free exclusive sterling silver mystic necklace valued at $159. Remember a few minutes ago when I said they have incorporated all of the bonuses and all of the inventory credits and all of that stuff into the price of the product. This, in my opinion, is showing it. Qualifying party hostess exclusive bracelet for only $29.99. A qualifying party is defined as a party PV total of $250 or more. <laughs> Oh, wow. So again, thanks, Sam. For that. That's embarrassing. Let's get back to the video, shall we? I wanted to be at the ground. Oh. I wanted to be where everybody who comes on is somehow just under me. I mean, let's be honest. It's just smart business. Um, and so that's why I made the jump. So yeah, so Diana, absolutely. Um, and I like it that way. Can you sell items directly off your trade board? Yes and no. Okay, yes and no. So you have to remember what you're selling. We are, <laughs> yes, we have sterling silver jewelry, but that's not what people technically are buying. They're buying the Fizz experience. So if somebody wants a particular ring on your trades, you would open another ring and then just let them trade it out because what they're buying is the experience. The reason being weird. I thought they were buying a piece of jewelry. I mean, would, would buying an experience with an MLM company, what, could we file that under a pyramid scheme <laughs> according to her definition at the beginning of this? is let's say this is one of our rings this little cute stack okay so let's say you bought this let's say we fizzed a ring for you and it was this little double ring yeah um, two weeks you did something and the stone fell out well what we will do is we can't replace it with this exact ring and so instead what we do is we give you another fizz so you go back to your consultant they're going to be credited and they're going to um, fizz a new ring for you. So that's why we say we don't let you buy the trade because you're not buying an exact piece. You're buying that whole experience of fizzing. But yes, they can. You can open something and they can trade it for the ring they want. Girl, do you know, I, I do. I give the hostess set out frequently. I have several ways my customers can earn the hostess set without being scheduling as a hostess. So I do. Um, we all do. In fact, I do um, these little reward cards where when you get 10 punches, you get the hostess set. So, yes, girl. So spend more money through Vistaprint so you can get those 10 punch cards. I, I, love what you think. I just yes. that. Yep. You worded it right. You're buying the chance and then decide if you want the trade. Exactly. That's exactly because it's the experience. Okay. What other questions do y'all have? I'm going live right after this. I go live at 7 p.m. tonight. Um, I'll be going live. So, yes, ma'am. Let me see. We just got uh, Brianna or Brianna. We do have pearls. Yes. And also, I mean, if you do want to follow us and see how we do it, you can do that as well. Yep. You can follow all of us. We all go live sometimes, same time, sometimes different times, all of them. Diana wants a punch card, Kristen. Okay, <laughs> girl, you got it. <laughs> I'm but, read <laughs> but yeah, that's, I mean, also like what Kelsey touched on in the beginning, you know, we, we have our own hours that work with our families. And so like me personally, I work a 40 hour job or well, <laughs> 
okay, maybe a 50 hour job Monday through Friday. Um, so I, right now my schedule only allows me to go live on the weekend. Um, I also do vendor shows on the weekend, which is awesome too, because I love vendor shows. Um, but so we all just do different times. How do you set up a trade board if you're starting out? All right. Good. That's an Get ready for a super complicated explanation of this. I know that it's coming based on her inventory credit situation from earlier. Amazing question. All right. So here's what I tell my team. Do not worry about that at the beginning because most of your customers are going to be brand new to Rise. They're going to be so excited they're keeping their products. It'll give you time. If you've opened one piece or two pieces, <laughs> if you're going to do any trades, I always say start less is more. Do the popular pieces, okay? You get a wrap. They, they give you a vegan leather wrap in your kit as a gift. Use that on your trade board if you want to. That way you already have a wrap trade. So when I first started, some things... I only had maybe one item up. I had one trade. I didn't have any trades of 12s or 11s or 5s or 6s because I just didn't sell many. So I had to work up to it. Here is the other thing. I have seen consultants. Yes, $6.99. Six, um, for you, yes. For the average consultant, no. Here is the reason why. And I'm going to, and what? let me come back to that in just a moment, Hamza. Um, so what I was saying is about um, the trades. When you first get started, don't feel like you need all the trades. Um, literally, I will tell you, I am probably in the top three of sales in the company. And I do not do more than three of any item in trades. Ever. It's just not... It, you would be there all day. It's I kind of overwhelming and too much. It is overwhelming. To from. It is. You do too? See, I know a lot of people. And then there's people I who I see yet. that do 30 or 40. <laughs> and see, Kelsey's doing amazing. I have one. And she has one item for trade. That's it. I know. I okay. Yeah, I do too. So, yes. time. I didn't tell you, but I told Jessica, which is fine. But remember when I ordered from you on your live? The ring, the reason why I asked, I was like, you don't have any trades. It's because I have the exact same ring in my trade. And I was like, but I'll put it in my trade or I'll keep it. Now I get to keep one. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. I thought it was funny. And I totally knew that. But I was like, just by a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I bought a ring from Jessica the other day, which I'm going to put in my trades. So that's one way you can add to your trades. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Buy from other distributors in the company and then add it to their trade board so that their customers can trade something that you bought from another distributor. That is so weird. Yep. It's just having fun with each other. Right. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, Hamza, the reason I said $6.99 is the best for you is because it's going to come with the bigger size rings. And I know for a fact, because you are my amazing customer. I love how I don't know if you guys caught this a few minutes ago because she's she's all over the place but she said somebody it seemed was asking her <laughs> Brandy I'll read your comment in a minute but somebody was asking her you know should I do the 199 or the 699 is what it sounded like and she said well for the average consultant I would say yes but for you meaning this person oh they're different they're not average. So you should get the $6.99. That's what it sounded like. And that's what she's getting ready to talk about, which is going to be very interesting. That you wear a size 12. So the bigger kit comes with three size 12s, three size 11s, um, and then like five of the 10s and 9s and 8s and 7s and 6s, stuff like that. So for you, I would say the bigger one makes so much sense. If you are, if you, um, let's say you don't wear the bigger size rings, the medium kit is fine. As long as you know that I will encourage you to spend and get at least 16 other items. I have a list of what those 16 items are. I mm. recommend for women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So remember at the beginning when she said it doesn't cost anything, there's no fees. Here she is selling the 199, the medium size kit, but then encouraging people to order even more. 
I wonder if those 16 items fulfill that $300 personal volume requirement for them to be ambassador. I bet you it does. I bet that's why she is encouraging them to add on with that medium kit because it, it pads her pocket. When you first go live. Now, that's if you are new to direct sales. If you are not new to direct sales, you have a customer base that you think is going to support you. I would absolutely go with that bigger kit uh, and I would do a replenishment because I was already from direct sales. I had a customer base. So I immediately... I actually did the middle kit and then I spent a big, you know, more than what that large kit would have been. I spent to get uh -huh. all of the inventory I needed. Yeah. So back up to Lindsay's question. That tracks. Yeah. Question. We can eat With me, around. right, Hansa? With me? <laughs> um, we can go back <laughs> real fast. Each oh, I bet. That person was like, yeah, I'm going to sign up. And she was like, oh, but you're going to sign up with me, right? Not anybody else. You're going to sign up with me because you're my customer. Oh, what is up, Tish? Guys, go follow Tish. Uh, Echo Echo. She's incredible. Javas, so her question is about how many hours per week do you, do each of you work on your business? And is this your full-time job? Okay. We'll answer that and then we'll come back and answer Miss Diana's. Mm. And first, okay. we trust. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, <I'll be> nice. <laughs> so me, okay, this is not my full time job. I have a full time job as well as I go to school. I have three kids under the age of five, and I'm a wife and mom, all the things. So, no, I go live about three times a week, and I do maybe one or two pop ups on the weekend when I can. So, this is kind of like a side thing for me but it is something if i can get to kristen's level or upper level that i would like to turn into full-time job if i can okay miss kels so no not my full-time job i have a full-time job working from home um same mom two kids married um i'm the newest one out of this group here um and i've only gone live twice uh so far i've already basically sold out of my everything i brought bought a kit plus some replenishment and i've sold out all of it almost mm. um and i've only spent maybe like five hours live total between the two carly welcome that's awesome that you became a member welcome welcome two lives so, okay, so this is my full-time job. Um, and it's my full-time job for my own business, but also full-time job as a director, as a team leader. Um, and so, and I have, the, I have the girls under me, and then I also have, if they've recruited people, until, I always say, until you are ready to have a team and be ready to, you know, be in charge of it, do not feel like you have to, put on your own roller skates and go your own way. You literally, we are, we are a team regardless. Whether oh my God. <gasps> Guys, don't you dare do your own thing in something that is pitched to you as your own business. We do everything the same here. When you can do that is when you hit director, when you decide to recruit and have at least two ambassador legs, then you can do your own thing. <laughs> Whether you're directly under me, whether you are under Jessica, who is under me, or Elise or Kelsey, who's under me, it does not matter. We are a team. You are all going to get the exact same information. If I do a challenge, it is open to my team. My team is not just the people I recruit. My team is my team, everybody. I literally, we are that, we are literally that close. We all just get. There's a whole lot of my in this conversation from her. Also, this is an unfortunate pause. I'm actually going to screenshot this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that is going on the thumbnail for sure after I am done here. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Get along. And so until you get a big enough team, don't feel like you have to go out on your own. And even when you get a big team, you don't have to go out on your own. 
the girl who recruited me, my team is bigger than her team. And I'm still involved in her team. Still involved. One, she's an amazing human being that I absolutely adore. Um, but yeah, so don't feel like that. So one thing I always hear people go, but I don't want to recruit. Don't ever, don't ever feel like that. If there's somebody who wants to join, that is extra commission for you. We have it set up so our team works and you're, everybody gets trained. Nobody's, we are a nobody's left behind policy. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. Um, so I do work full time. Okay. So the question was, can you trade across items? Like if I buy a ring, but want a necklace, if I don't like the ring, um, that is up to each and every consultant, Diana, some consultants allow you to trade across sterling silver. Hey, Lindsay, how are you, darling? I don't, that's, I always say no. I always, you can only trade within your item. And the reason is, is if I allowed it, then what would happen is I would have way too many size sixes or way too many size nines or way too many rings and no necklaces and trades. I would constantly be having to spend my own money to refill my trades. Well, I don't want to do that. I, I'm in this to make money. So personally, I don't allow, but some consultants will. Whoa. Oh, girl, <laughs> let me just tell you something. I came from... Woo! I, the company I came from was, I, I swear I have PTSD. Oh. <laughs> I swear I have PTSD. Stop it. That's not funny. That's not cute. That is a real problem that people have to deal with. I hate when they say this. Can you go through traumatic things being a part of MLM? Yes. But to say that you have PTSD, something that requires treatment, medication, seeing a therapist is absolutely disgusting. And there's far too many people in MLMs that use that as a way to say, oh, you had a hard time or you had really terrible things happen to you in your previous company. It's different over here. It's disgusting. And that's kind of been our little inside joke. That's not a this joke. Nobody allows, they will not tolerate. I'm sorry. That's not a joke. That's not funny. PTSD, you think that's funny? Tell that to a veteran with PTSD. Tell that to anybody that has PTSD that you think it's funny and that you're comparing being in an MLM and, and you know, rough situations or whatever to them having PTSD from horrible trauma. Are you kidding me? You should be ashamed of yourself. That's disgusting. I'll read it. Um, number one, there is no team hopping. So I've always told people, even when I was with the other company, I said, make sure you do your research. Go watch other consultants. You might go, you know what? I don't like Kristen. I don't want to sign up with Kristen. And I mean, yes, you can sign. <laughs> you just raise her hand. Girl, I understand that feeling. It is. And so Did that girl just raise her hand? Like, yeah, that was me. I don't like Kristen. And she's on on a Zoom or whatever with Kristen? So you may want to sign up under someone else. That's okay because with Rise, they don't allow you to switch companies. So I encourage you, do your research. Yes, I know. And the reason I tell people do their research is because I know I'm a good team leader. I know I will work my butt off for you. But Besides the fact of having a team leader who works for you and everything, you want to make sure you have someone you can connect with um, because your attitude is very important to your success, but so is how prepared you are. So if you don't have an upline who's going to support you and train you and that you connect with, it's not a great thing. So I always say, do your research. Um, I think that's vital with any business um, because with this one, they do not allow you to switch teams. You are there, and if not, you have to be out for six months. And I, I can only imagine what she is like behind the scenes. If this is what she's showing us, I can only imagine what private messages with her look like. I, I like that. So, oh, Jessica. She'll be back, I'm sure. Bye. Oh, what did she do? 
She did something. I think she pushed a button by accident. Oh, I think she got tired and was like, I'm out. This is not my vibe. I hope I hope she does get up. I hope all of them get out of MLM. <laughs> also, can you guys do me a quick favor? Can you X out of the chat and just double make sure, like double, triple check that you have liked the stream and that you are subscribed? I am extremely close to 10k which is really exciting so if you could just take just a quick second i've had people over the last few months that have said that they were unsubscribed they thought they were subscribed so if you could just like the stream double check to make sure that you are subscribed i would really appreciate it it helps me get the word out to more people okay let's continue there she is <laughs> she pushed some bu buttons something <laughs> she pushed a button sorry <laughs> It's because that little power button is right by the little house button where you see stuff. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> so how does the moving up and rank work? Do you have to recruit you. The first two levels, no. The first two levels you can do just based on your own sales. After that, so it goes um, ambassador, advisor. But uh -huh. after that is leader, uh -huh. then director, exec, all that. It, everything above the first two are dependent on having a recruit. So, yes, ma'am, that answered your question. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Thank girl, you for putting me right. You? Nancy will be soon on our team. I know it. I can feel it. <laughs> Poor Miss Diana, girl. How close to 10K? I am 21 subscribers away from 10K. So, it's very close. I know. It. And here's the thing, guys. If you I appreciate I, you, whether you want to talk, whether you want to join with Kelsey, are there any team leaders that are Christian? Um, I'm Orthodox. <laughs> I'm Chris. You have to understand. I'm I, Christian. Is I don't know how to explain. It. Are we a Christian company? Yes. Do we? Do we? Yes. Um, what? Like they had only limited time purchases though come out for Easter, for instance. We had, you know, a cross wrap and we had some cross earrings, but they're off of the site now. They're actually gone. It's just they don't they don't promote anything. Some people like crosses, some people don't. So they don't force you, you know, in any direction if that's what you're implying. Well, how can you say that they're a Christian company then? That to me, makes it sound like she's just trying to appease whoever asked that question. Here's my thing. This company um, does not mix politics, religion into the company. You know, what's weird is that they're an MLM company. So the political lobbying to keep this company in business absolutely does happen. So even if they aren't publicly saying that they support whomever they're still very much political that's the reason that they're still in business today is because of the political lobbying <laughs> it is up to each individual c consultant for your political views or for your own christian views does that make sense and i and honestly for me personally i choose now we are 19 away from 10k so thank you to everybody that has subscribed. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Maggie. She's not to talk about either of them in my lives or anything. I mean, I'll show you a cross bracelet because it's in my trades, but I'm not going to, you know, harp on it or continue. It's what it is. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So, yeah. So I think that's an important thing about our company is that they don't base it on anything that's controversial. And so I like that. And so I always tell people, you know, and for people who understand, Orthodox is not considered Christian. It's like Catholics are not considered Christian. I don't know if y'all know that. I'm Greek Orthodox. So it's not technically considered Christian. But then you go, I'm not a Christian. That just sounds kind of harsh. So I thought this was a business training. If it were a business training, this, somebody's personal views, somebody's, none of this would come up. Because it's nobody's business. This is so weird to me. Oh, <laughs> and Greek Orthodox. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so I think that's important to understand is that the company is so supportive of each and every person. Um, and I think it's amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. 
<laughs> Any other questions y'all have for us? And if you guys, like I said, if y'all want to message me, message Kelsey, message Jessica, message Elise after this, we would love to talk with you. Um, this is our group. This is our entire group. All of us use this one. If you want information, jewelhiveteam.net. Let me look at this. Jewelhiveteam.net. I'm going to look at it on my phone real quick. Oh, that's the Facebook group. Interesting. There's 81 people in it. Huh. Okay. The Future B, what? The Future B team? Future Rise B. B, oh my God. Oh my God. Future Rise B, B E E hyphen lever, like believer, but B lever. Consultants with a period at the end. <laughs> if you want images of the kit, to see exactly what's in the kit, go right here, jewelhiveteam.net. We'll let you in and you can literally look around, no obligation information, just to know and to stay in. Oh, I'm definitely not getting from them that they are alphabet mafia friendly, trans supportive. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm definitely not feeling that. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not saying that as a fact, but that's the vibe I'm getting too, guys. No. Um, and that's if you if you just go, you know what? I want to be on the beat on Kristen's team. I don't care who I'm under. Does it matter? You can still just go to that group. That is what we do. We literally keep information in there for y'all. Um, any other questions? Weird. I feel like we answered. Do you guys think that Kristen is the type of leader that would sign up people that were working with one of our team members. Cause I absolutely do. I absolutely get the vibe that she would be like, well, you could sign with one of my team members or you could come directly to the source and you could sign with me. I, I totally get that vibe from her. And again, I'm not stating that as fact. It's just, it's just how I'm feeling. Yeah, you guys get it. Yeah, Sam D says that's the vibe for sure. I could I could absolutely see her doing that. And then going back to the team member and being like, well, they said they wanted to sign with me. You know, people aren't property. <laughs> a lot. And I'm going live in eight minutes. I'm going to end this live, take a quick potty break, and then I'll come back and go live. How many directors are there in the company? Um, you know what? I don't know. There's only like 482 consultants. So I'm not sure how many directors. There can't be a ton. Is there recruiting? People can join any time. There are not. Did you guys hear my son sneeze in the other room? That was so bad. That sounded like a grown man sneeze and he's like nine. He's only nine. He'll be 10 in September. There's not. Here's the thing about this company. And I love it. Um, they do not promote FOMO for your business. All right. But I bet you do. Um, the reason I know you're asking that is because other companies have set times. And the reason they do that is because they want to promote FOMO, fear of missing out. They want you to jump into being a consultant because you're afraid you're going to miss your chance. Here's what happens. I guarantee you she uses FOMO. Why else would she say there's only, what did she say? Did she say 382 or 282 consultants? There's a reason that she said that because she's, telling people without telling them, hey, get in now. It's a ground floor opportunity. The company may not do that, but she does because she just did. This is not a decision that you should make four hundred eighty because you're afraid of missing out. This needs to be a decision you make because you go, you know what? I can do this. I want to do this. Mm. I want to see what I can do with this. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to make money. I want the jewelry. I want, this is not a FOMO opportunity. This is a big decision. And so um, I just, I love the fact that we don't do that. Cause that was always my biggest pet peeve where I used to be because they would close recruiting all the time and they would close it just for the heck of, and they would say it's because we want to create FOMO.
the company may not do that, but you're absolutely doing that. And that's the reason you're saying half the things that you are, especially the fact of there's 482 distributors in the company currently. That's the reason you're saying that is, hey, get hop in on this now, you know, because people are going to learn about this company. It's going to be too late. Wow. And then you have people jumping in who are not ready to do it. And I don't like that. That's why you got PTSD. That's why I got PTSD. <laughs> that's not funny. And that's not cute. And that's extremely offensive and tone deaf. I know, right? It's just kind of our joke. It's, a, it's, it's just not a running funny. joke with us. We all have PTSD. Imagine thinking PTSD or anything else, you know, uh, as far as like mental health is funny and an inside joke on a, a, an opportunity call, video, Zoom, whatever, trying to recruit people in. How many of the people that were watching this suffer from PTSD? It's so tone deaf. It's so irresponsible. It's absolutely disgusting. They should be embarrassed. That's embarrassing. And all of them laughing about it. I'm going to turn that into a short. I'm going to turn that into a reel. Mm -hmm. That's happening because that's embarrassing and more people need to see it. So any other questions, my friends? Ladies, is there anything else you think we forgot we didn't add? No, I mean, honestly, we'll probably do more of these. So, you know, you can catch any one of us. And if you come in and see us all four, you know what it's about. But if you have any other questions, I've been posting the link, jewelhiveteam.net in there. And you can contact us and any one of us or who, whoever is even not in the meeting but on our team would be more than happy to help you with questions. And do not be afraid to interview the consultant you're wanting to sign with. I always say that. Make sure you know them. I mean, don't be afraid. That is what we're here for because we are going to directly affect you by how we help you succeed by what we train you with. The only reason she's saying that, in my opinion, is because if you put her credentials, her rank, the income that she's making, her experience in MLM, and you compare it to any of these other people, naturally somebody is going to choose her. So the fact that she has these people on her on this Zoom or whatever, and she's like, tell us what your favorite part about being with Rise is. She is only using them for to tell their story to attract more people. This is, again, my opinion because she wants to recruit more people and encour encouraging people to interview who they're going to sign with. That's the only reason that she's doing any of that. It's crazy. So do not, do not be afraid of that. I asked All right, Kristen, so lots of questions before I joined. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Nobody's had more questions than Jessica. <laughs> Jessica was my question queen. And I mean, it was oh, months. It was months of questions, months and months. Yep. And I've never done this. I've never done anything like this before. I and haven't either. I, think it's amazing. I still ask questions. <laughs> Refer to what I just said. So if you have these four individuals and you're thinking about signing with any of them and you were to get like a resume from them, most of these people on here are new to MLM. But then you have this person with X number of years of experience and she's making X number of dollars or uh, she's this rank in the company. People are going to naturally want to sign with her, not these team members. So even though she's saying, make sure that you, you know, do your research, make sure that you interview who you want to sign with, people are going to go directly to her. Wow. It's giving... MLM companies selling on uh, selling on Amazon, like prove it, selling on Amazon and undercutting their own distributors. That's the whole vibe that I'm getting from this. And you should. I still ask questions. What are you talking about? I do too. So right. side note, before we all get off here, Kristen, we need two links from you, please. Two links? I know I've got it uploading. It's just not uploaded yet to get a link. Okay, team leader. Let's go. I know, but you won't get them until tonight. Sorry, girl. <laughs> I just want to make a screenshot. Go into you when you're done. 
when you're done, go to your profile and then click on that little cog wheel on the top corner. It looks like click on it and it'll say creator tools, click on creator tools and then go to live events and see the replays. Well, I'll take a to, screenshot of the replay. I'll have to go look because you're the host. So I didn't know. We but could you still that. have it in yours. Perfect. So you can actually take a screenshot and just add the screenshot. This is for the points they're talking about. The Perfect. company d is go doing points, and we get 400 points when we do an opportunity lab. So but we, we all, all do love talking and answering questions. So yeah, we're not doing it because of the points. We're doing it. To yeah, we are. We're doing it for points. <laughs> well, especially not me. Maybe them because they want they want the cup. <laughs> I don't do cups. Look, I got a polar pop right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not doing an opportunity live to try and recruit people. You're <laughs> You're doing it for the points. But why would you have to earn points if this were your business like you presented it at the beginning? The competition between the four of these individuals is so awkward. It's a perfect example of when you recruit somebody into an MLM onto your team, you're recruiting your competition. All of these people are competing with one another. Oh my God. <laughs> you got the B All queen right. with her cup though. I know. Oh, I'm going, look. It is time for me to go live. So I'm going to end with y'all. I will be live. Thank you so much, Amy. <laughs> Might be the most ridiculous Zoom ever. I agree. This was atrocious. I only probably watched the first, I don't know, maybe five minutes of it. And I was like, oh my God. Maybe a little bit more than that. But <sighs> wow. Thank you for the super chat, Amy. I appreciate you. Uh, I will be live at seven o'clock. So y'all get your pre-orders. And did you get 400 for earlier today and 400? <laughs> keep, please keep covering the stumpster fire. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate you. <gasps> yes, I did, Ben. Yes, I did. Absolutely. Opportunity live. I got 400 points. <laughs> so anyways, go and follow us. We'll talk to y'all. And I hope everyone has a great night. Yes. All right, have a good night. <laughs> Bye. 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 Well, that's that. <laughs> what in the world did we just watch? Well, anyways, uh, that's Rise. They're an MLM that has fizzy silver jewelry that is way overpriced. And they're offering their team members, I don't know if this is a current thing or if this is an old contest, points for doing things on social media but it's their own business and they get inventory credit that they're going to end up paying tax on as a form of income on their 1099. As DC says, this was definitely twisty, definitely twisty. Yeah. <sighs> There's going to be more. I'm going to cover this company more. So anyways, if you guys love today's live stream, today's video, Feel free to give me a thumbs up, double check, and make sure that you are subscribed. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you had a great time. Um, and shout out to Sam D for sending the comp plan and uh, all of that information. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for all the super chats. Welcome new members. And I will see you on the next video. I will not be live tomorrow for those that are watching this live. I won't be live tomorrow because I'm going to the Las Vegas Aces game. It is basketball season. Y'all know how I feel about that. And so I'm going to be at the game tomorrow. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you have an awesome evening. I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.